Good morning and welcome back. We're going to start off in the Atlantic as all eyes are on Hurricane Florence. Right now, a Category 2 storm winds at 105 miles per hour, moving northwest to 10 miles per hour. The Carolinas already seeing some of the impacts from this storm. With more team coverage, Island News reporter Jordan Segundo joining us live from Kihei. Jordan. Maui County is under a hurricane warning, which means within the next 36 hours, we could see hurricane conditions and scenes like the one behind me could look very different. The wind definitely very strong. And as you can see behind me, the surf as well. In addition to the impacts from Tropical Storm Lane, another natural disaster, wildfires burning over 2,300 acres on Maui's west side. People in Lahaina Maui went to bed anticipating the wrath of Hurricane Lane, but no one expected to wake up to flames as high as these palm trees. Now all that's left of these three homes right here is just rubble and ash. One of the most important tools on this aircraft is this right here. It's called a drop sod. Once it is placed into this tube right here, it is ejected straight into the hurricane. Part of it becomes a parachute. The rest of it collects the important data that is then sent to scientists and meteorologists to help predict the path and the intensity of the storm. We are tracking Tropical Storm Hector. This is the eighth named storm out in the eastern Pacific this season. Right now, sustained winds at about 60 miles per hour, moving west at 12 miles per hour. Most of the models are in agreement to keep that storm on that westerly track. We do have a very strong area of high pressure that is guiding the storm towards the central Pacific and closer to the islands. If you see some folks out there out in the distance, uh, got out of their car, they're going to try to go take a look at what they can see. But I can tell you now, it is coming down pretty hard here, uh, pretty windy as well. This is just some of the effects from Tropical Storm Olivia, which is still a ways away from Oahu. Get ready for very windy conditions. We're seeing wind speeds 15 to 25 miles per hour. As we head into Wednesday, wind speeds could in some areas get up to 30 miles per hour and gusts even stronger than that. Now these strong trade winds are expected to stay with us for quite some time. So get ready for more of those windy conditions. If you plan to hit the beach, good news. We've got surf on all of our shores. North coming in about five to eight, four to seven on the east side, two to four out west and three to five for our southern facing shores. So for our Saturday forecast, temperature is getting up into the mid to upper 80s. Once again, winds light and variable five to 15 miles per hour, sunnier in the morning. But once again, a few more clouds this afternoon with the chance of showers. Well, we've got sunshine on our Friday. It's gonna be cold outside Woo! Saturday and Sunday. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I guess, guess we can say it's gonna, gonna be a We're going to call ourselves the, the forecasters. forecasters. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Ooh. It's going to be it. a beautiful day. Yes. <laughs> We're loving it here only on Good Morning Hawaii. Happy Aloha Friday.